Welcome to the map mating stream in BFME 1 on the patch 2.22 in a good against evil matchup between Mordor versus Rohan. Orcs versus peasants, the two weakest swordmen, but orcs are weaker. The reason is simple because they are for free. All you need is time to recruit them, no money. Okay, Mary has been recruited and also double farm opening for Rohan. He's gonna recruit immediately two more peasants. They are rotating through the bottom side to reach to the settlement. That's a pretty good one. But remember on the map, um, Mering Stream, each player has three starting settlements. One of them being very close to the castle on each side. And one of them, uh, the other two are actually kind of far away. So it's going to be hard for him to protect this. Gollum can't win against two battalions of peasants. That's not possible. But what he can do is dance around the Rosie to deny the peasants from capturing this settlement. Or at least a little bit. He can't do this permanently because peasants will attack him over and over again. Smeagol is gonna be taken down. I often Sauron has been used. Also, Mortar was able to capture this one in the front. That's pretty good for him. I like it. Double orc pit technology to spam the map with plenty of orcs. And that's gonna be quite useful early on against the peasant spam. But later on against Rohirrim, it has no use. Because Rohirrim will do what they just did in the films trample the orcs so they will die okay so more peasants will be recruited he never captured this one in the front yet but he captured this one here um this is a 2.2 uh, map you know the mering stream alongside with higurashi forest with Hirin deal and forts of brunin and every new map they have added to the patch to the game are always symmetrical okay symmetrical means each side is identical and no player has any advantage playing on either side of the map. That's pretty important because most of the maps EA games made back in the day were asymmetrical. They are fun to play, but kind of imbalanced too, you know. A 2v2 situation between orcs and peasants. Peasants should be winning this, but remember, there are two orc pits. So every 30 seconds, you will have two additional orcs to outspam your opponent. Your opponent has to pay for the peasants, $125. But you have to get, pay $0, you know? Steeple building up for Rohan. That's pretty good. The slaughterhouse is very important. We have a level 2 orc, but badly damaged. So he should be losing this eventually. But remember, level 2 orcs are no joke. They have the black orcs, which will grant them 25% more damage. But no armor, though. Keep that please in mind. So armor is more important than damages. Good uh, eco. Triple slaughterhouse. Double orc pit into the Haradrim Palace for the creeping. Haradrims are also giving Mordor the chance to actively play for the map, which they can't only with orcs all alone against Rohirrim, but the rune soldiers can do this, you know. So your combination with orcs and runes is still quite cost efficient because again orcs cost nothing, runes cost 400, um, but it's okay, you know. You can contest the map control. Actually, they cost even 350 if I'm not mistaken. Let me take a look. Yeah, they cost 350. So pretty affordable uh, pikemen from Mordor, very tanky too. So this trample is incoming, just like in the films. That's like the best mechanic of the game, in my opinion, that you can do this. In no RTS game, but BFME, there is this possibility. You can trample to just one shot, you know? I like it. I like it so much. If you have to fight them one by one, it will just take you ages, and Mordor would be literally the strongest faction with orcs all alone. Aradrims have been recruited. In order to get the Haradrim Palace to level 2, you need to recruit in total 4 Haradrim Warriors. That will give you a chance to recruit the Soldiers of Rune. Okay, I mean lots of peasants. I like the peasant spam from Rohan. He was doing a good job in this game. He has good eco. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 farms under his control. With the farms inside, he has the full food bonus. Getting the cheapest amount of Rohirrim for 420. Filling up the bees with more farms. Mordor is going to be able to creep this, no problemo. Getting power points to reach the industry power spike way faster. That's really important for Mordor. But let's see if he's going to go for the troll cage or will the Russian Nas go very fast? That's a question. We will have to wait to get the answer. Beautiful trample. And it looks like Rohan won't allow Mordor to creep this one. So that's pretty good. Triple Orc Warriors. If you ignore them, they will destroy your farm in a few seconds. The peasants can't really do much anymore. They have still plenty of creeps. And you see what Rohan is doing. That's very important. What he's doing when you play the game yourself. Always uh, creep offensively with the Rohirrim. You don't need to creep defensively with them. Against orcs. You always take the enemy creeps first. Before you take the creeps which are very close to your base. Which you will take anyway, right? 
So Rohan is doing a good job. He has four Rohirrims in total. The stable is level two. Or shields purchased. But remember, he doesn't have the power points because he went for the heal. He doesn't have the power points for the Elven Special Summon. Which means the Rune Soldiers can actually counter this big time. But that comes the first rush. Shields will make them quite tanky against arrows. Not many towers. He has only two towers in the front. But one of them is going to be destroyed by these Rohirrim Warriors. Here he's fighting against the Haradrims. That's a mistake. He will get damaged big time. Heal is on cooldown so he can't really keep pushing. Or pit level 2 is quite tanky. It will take you some time to destroy it, but it looks like he will be able to destroy it. You see the arrows are not really damaging this horse's death match. But the runes will be able to do that. 4500 HP on the level 2 orc pit, so quite beefy. So Mordor was able to clean this up. Oh, beautiful micro actually. The sidestep was very good, I like it. Mordor is taking over the map a little bit though. Uh, this money from Mordor is not looking too hot yet. He has 1,000. But the first base rush was kind of big fail. You need Forge Bleeds to get the DPS you need to burst through the structures way faster. Gollum is uh, so on the solo mission, attacking the Steeple. It's going to take him 2 years and 55 uh, days and 21 minutes to destroy this. The farm is going to be destroyed in the middle. Orcs everywhere. The beautiful part about Mordor is, is you losing Orcs, you will also gain power points, you know? So industry being quite helpful, obviously. Another base rush is being prepared. So this guy, this time it's going to be a 4 Rohirrim rush. He has one rune soldier in the base. That's not going to be enough to stop all four of these Rohirrims. If he had blades there, this push could literally be the ending of this castle. So the rune soldier has to be around the troll cage. It's very important. You don't want to be letting it exposed for the Rohirrim to give a chance to commit to that. Yes, the troll cage is quite tanky though. It's not like an orc pit, level 1. But it's still level 1 structure. Even without the forge blades, he's able to break it quite easily. There comes Aragorn, Araton's son. And if there is only one troll, he doesn't need to be worried. The Rohirrim will be taken down. Aragorn can wipe. As you can see, holy guacamole, Aragorn is... I mean, Boromir wasn't right. One does can simply walk into Mordor. Troll cage will be destroyed. The one troll can't approach this Aragorn, even without the Bleedmaster. With Anduri's sword all alone, he's super dangerous hero. One of the best, if not the best hero in the game. We have plenty of units being idle in the castle. Um, Gollum is giving uh, vision for the Mordor player. He's able to see the Rohirrim, the well, the farm, and this farm. We have expanded the Haradrim palace. So Haradrim palace level 3. Uh, quite beefy structure now with 6500 HP. The recruit time will be faster by 30%, so you will be able to recruit the rune soldiers in 22 seconds. Which is pretty good, you know. There are way too many orcs for, Mord for Aragorn to deal with that. He can deal with this, don't get me wrong, but it will just take him lots of time. And you need to be investing your time wisely. We have Elvin Elma combination. The double spear throw from the siblings of Rohan can actually end the life of the troll. Mordor has 1,400 in the bank. Doesn't go for a troll cage anymore. He's trying to get as many runes as, as possible on the field. Which is solid. He has full towers. So it will make it difficult for Aragorn to destroy everything by himself. Aragorn is tanky. But his armor against structural damage has been lowered in the patch 2.2. In the original game, Aragorn was able to take down the Mordor castle all by himself. Now it's going to take you more time. You need to go front to back. But Aragorn also provides you with 50% damage leadership. Kind of making it up for the missing Forge Bleeds. You can see the damage with the uh, from the Rohirrim when Aragorn is nearby. They are destroying and melting everything. They are level 5 now. Lots of towers though. They are shooting permanently. That comes to heal. And Bleed Master can be used to destroy the Baradur. Towers have to be demolished in time to deny power points from your opponent. Troll is finally back in the... Action. That's a very valuable structure. Level 3. Slaughterhouse with industry buff on it. Now he has the Bleed Master. Dealing heavy damage. But it's a level 3 structure. It's the tankiest structure right now in the Mortal Castle. I'm not sure if... I think it should be better and more valuable to destroy this one first. Which is just way easier to be destroyed. One does walk simply walk... Into, one does walk simply into Mordor. I don't know why he demolished the structure in the first place. By the way, he shouldn't have done this. But while he's doing this, Mordor is taking care of the map a little bit. Now, Aragorn is a little bit exposed. Remember, he is on cooldown. And Bleedmaster is also away. Oh, but the Aragorn's damage is illegal. Illegal damage. <laughs> this is 
illegal damage. Whenever somebody's saying, Aragon is so weak, show him that, man. Show him that. He's a one man army out of seven available heroes for the Rohan faction. Rohan is the most heroes in the game, keep that in mind. Level 5 for him. Yeah, he's going for the Forge Bleeds, Heavy Armor, Banner, all of the upgrades at once. And this is a favorable map for Rohan too, because it's a kind of small map. You need to always think about this way. The distance to travel from this castle to this castle is pretty short, right? And you have many entrances. You can go directly through this. This river, you can walk over it. You can go through the bridge. You can go all the way around. You can hack this wall. Like you have many, many possibilities to reach the opposite of the map. And Mordor will have trouble to defend all the possible entrances to his side of the map. You want to draw the sword here with the Elven Warriors. By the way, for the next patch 2.2 update, there will be lots of new textures, animations, and overall lots of improvements, quality of life changes. So it's going to be looking way better. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. And again, all the updates will be done automatically. All you need to do is run your PFME launcher and it will auto-update. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Aragorn almost level 7. Another big slash is going to happen. He went for the devastation, which is smart. Do not come between the Nazgul and his prey. I mean, Eowyn will chunk him, um, as she did, but it won't be enough to finish him off. Remember the Elven Alliance special summons on cooldown, so the Witch King will be able to find power points by killing all this Rohirrim. The Rohirrim are fast, but the Witch King is faster. Nobody is uh, out speeding a flying creature like the Nazgul, the Witch King or the Eagles. Aragorn is just on solo mission. Aragorn is a tanky hero, you know? It will take Witch King a long time. It was a very early Atelas. I think he should have been waiting a little bit longer. And Witch King, knowing that he won't be wasting time, uh, that wasting time on killing Aragorn is going to be not the best call. But he can stay around to give orcs a little bit more leadership. Smite! Chunk again. When, when Witch King is nearby, orcs will deal 50% more damage. Um, still not very threatening to a hero like Aragorn. But it will be way better than usual, you know? Ooh, chunking! Every minute, you are able to smite. Smite your opponent. Bonus damage to Nazgûl's Witch King and Monsters. 20% bonus damage to all non-flying heroes. So basically, Eowyn is a very underrated hero and a very dead hero. <laughs> you fool! <laughs> no girl can kill me. Okay. Elma level 4 though, that's, that's pretty good. They're in level almost 3. How these heroes got this much levels? I don't know. No outpost control for either player. Mordor is struggling, obviously, to keep the map. But he's going for the Mooma kill pan. In order to beat a beast. And the beast I'm talking about is this dude here. In order to beat a beast, you need another beast. And even though Aragorn is super tanky, but Mooma kill doesn't care. He steps on you. The screech. No, nobody is affected though because they are at least level 3 or higher. The damage is kind of crazy. The level 3 slaughterhouses are getting bursted. If also Legolas to counter the Witch King. The Mooma kill is coming. And eating the Al for the breakfast. But in the meantime, Rohan is keep going. You know, he keeps going all the time. Boom, chakalaka. Beautiful. Okay, Eowyn is coming, she's been, she has been revived. She's the best counter for the, for, from the Rohan faction to the Witch King. Is the burst damage is kind of coming in clutch and, you know, chunking the Witch King big time. Um, power point wise, we have almost 6 power points for Mordor and almost 5, yeah, five power points for Rohan. So he needs, against, against Mordor, you want to go for the Cloud Break. The ends are not going to add too much to the table because, you know, what can ends do against Bomber Kills and Witch King, you know? It's not going to happen. So what you need in, instead is you need basically Cloud Break. Cloud Break will reduce their movement speed, but most importantly their armor, which will make it overall easier for you to kill the Mumas. Mumas, when the Witch King is around, have also 50% more tankiness. The damage is not really affecting the Mumas too much, because when they get to charge, when they get to step on you, they will one-shot you anyway. But it's all about the durability boost they will get from the Witch King, and later on also from the Darkness. This combination will make Muma super tanky. 
Oh, close. Dude, I like Mumas. I think the Mumas are the most hype units in the game, actually. Most unique units. Yeah, they are hella expensive. The um, spear throw from Eoma is good against them. Just like in the films. Mortar is zero farms outside. But he has, you know, the combination of the devastation and industry. Every few minutes, he was, he's gonna get some chunk of money. Terrible Muma kill, action, ladies and gentlemen. The biggest weakness of Mumas, besides the fire, is of course the lack, lack of movement. They are very immobile, super slow. Um, they need the charge attack, which is available every 30 seconds, so it's kind of recharging quite fast. Ooh, okay, be careful. It's now Rohirrim archers, though. So don't underestimate them. Eowyn. Eowyn! My dog step on a bee. My dog step on a bee. <laughs> My mama step on the Elvin. Okay. Beautiful. Level 7. Now, Mordor is farming power points, ladies and gentlemen. He could go realistically speaking also for a scavenger just to get all the three powers from the spellbook of Mordor to get the money he needs. Without, without any map control, you will need that. But I think it's just better overall to go for him. Oh my god, he killed also Eoma. Oh my god, the Momo is everywhere. <laughs> now he's charging. He's angry. Come at me, bro. Left. Right. Oh. Oh, oh my god. You need to laugh the Momo kiss, man. If the Haradrims on top, this engaging is also not the best call because Haradrims will shoot at you nonstop. Luckily, he has Theoden Leadership, who is, by the way, almost level 3, so he needs only a level to get to level 4. The Vestition being super helpful alongside with the combination of the industry on this level 3 slaughterhouse. You basically get almost 100 resources from this one. That's pretty juice. And, yeah. You know, basically, he needs to revive all his heroes. Eowyn has been revived one more time. I think for the second or third time. And you need to stop with the Mumas if you want the Haradrims to enter the jeans. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Now the charge won't last forever. And when the charge... Ooh, the damage though. They have double damage leadership here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The DPS is something. Oh my god, he destroyed his own slot hours too. And the thing is, they are feeding lots of power points. Look, when he's dying, he will give power points to... Nah, he already... Nah, never mind. He didn't give, actually. Okay. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> that's actually weird. Maybe he gave it before he died. Need to check it again. Okay. Witch King, level 10. Mumas in the charge. Um, in order to fight against the Rohirrim Arches properly, I would prefer to put Orc Arches with Fire Rose on top of the Mumma Kill. Because Rohirrim Arches' biggest weakness is actually Fire Rose. So when your Arches on top of the Mumma Kill shoot at them a few times, they will actually die in a second. But you also need actually trolls, drummer troll, catapults could be also nice to because he has not basically has like I mean never mind I take it back he has normal Rohirrim coming from the top side. Now that's triple leadership, damage is something. The towers they are not as tanky as regular Rohirrim against arrows. The witch king has to be careful though. Will die in a second. That comes to darkness. Eowyn is going on the mission. You've been chunking. Now darkness has been used. Darkness, witch king combination. Oh, be careful with the witch king. Oof, 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 oof. Oh, he's gonna get angry. Maybe he's gonna run into this direction. Oh boy, he got killed. Nah, nah. It's difficult then. Witch king is the most valuable hero. And you don't want to lose him like this. Witch king, what makes witch king so good is that the area of effect he's affecting the units with the leadership is actually quite large and with that being said you don't need to stay on top of your own army to give them leadership you can actually stay semi far distance to still provide them leadership but basically no map control for mordor that's the problem rohan had a phenomenal early mid game and when rohan is lead game you see in this spe specific case Rohan's lead game is not weak by all means. Oh! <laughs> what? No way! He killed everything! Oh my god! <laughs> this was the most valuable Mumak ever existed, bro. 
Holy guacamole! Oh my god, he, did he kill... Wait, um, yeah, he killed Legolas, Theodine, Eoma, and Aragorn with one charge. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. The few elves can't deal with the Mooma kill. Oh my god, this is... You will love this game, I can see it coming, man. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm losing my voice over here, boys. Holy guacamole. <laughs> okay, but the thing is, Rohan has so much map, so many farms outside. He basically has everything. And Mordor is nothing. Mordor is suffering inside the castle, hoping for Rohan to make mistakes like this to eventually get the power points he needs for. Oh my god. Oh my, the damage. The Witch King won't make it out, by the way. That's not gonna be possible. The Baradur will be taken down by the Rohirrim archers. Oh boy. I mean, now he knows. Now he needs to respect this. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow, man. Oh wow. This is something, bro. The damage is something, I'm telling you. And Mordor will be destroyed, but I think it's still a very good game, actually. You have seen the Mumas can actually pay off big time. They, have a, they are a good investment. And, um, you know, this map also was difficult for Mordor, but still, it was a great game. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. I see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck, and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.